Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel focuses on home improvement, home repairs, home remodeling, tools that it takes to do all this work. And I put up a couple videos on the business that creates all these videos for the YouTube channel. And to this day, they are still the most watched videos. Millions of views. And along with those millions of views are lots and lots of questions about how I run my business. If you're here for home improvement videos, check back again tomorrow or look at the one that went up yesterday. 99% of them are all home improvement related. This one here, I just wanted to talk to the guys who are in this industry. A lot of young guys are getting into this business, the skilled trade business, but they want to work for themselves. They ask me all the time, are you still using that app or what was that phone app? that you did a video on a couple months ago. Now what they're talking about is the market phone app. Uh, the answer is yes, I'm still using it and I still recommend it. Now I know there's uh, a lot of apps to choose from. From what I hear, an another one that some guys are using is no longer going to be free. So I wanted to take this opportunity to show you what else is on the market, no pun intended. So I'm gonna take you into the app on my personal phone and show you around. It's not a tutorial. It's not meant to teach you. Uh, Market has their own videos and their own tutorials on how to use all the features. Now before we get started, go down to the description, click the link, and download the app. Make an account, and then you can follow along. Just pause the video, go download the app, and you can go screen to screen with me, and you can pause and start and stop uh, as you want. All right, we are now in my personal cell phone. This is what your app's going to look like once you download it and create an account. Um, now I want to just kind of go through and give you an overview of the things that I use the most on here. So the first thing I want to do is create a work order. Pretty easy to click through this. I don't have any of my customers in here, so I guess I'll add one for you. These are all the different things that you can input where this is a good one customer source where you where they found you how you want them notified uh, their address all that stuff but to keep things simple I'm just going to put this guy named Joe Blow in there customer information was saved job location you can type that in I'm just going to add an item fix broken window these are some things that I've, I've already put in here but you can add things in there type in uh, a name let's see here what, what what do we want to do? Uh, install security light. Uh, security lights. Quantity one, our rate is going to be $500. Uh, you can add discounts if you want. Sales tax, if that is the type of uh, uh, business that you have where you collect sales tax. So now we're just going to hit this check mark in the upper right hand corner. There you go, 500 bucks. Pretty sweet job. We're going to New Orleans. This is the, the next screen. Uh, I just want to set the, the date and the time. So we're going to do this on Monday, May 20th at 2 p.m. Now you can also check availability on your calendar. No job scheduled. By clicking the schedule button, you confirm it. Hit done. You can see that you've got a little red number one next to schedule and work orders. Click on the schedule and you can see what you got going on. So the schedule is important. You never want to miss anything. And this is, you know, you can create customers, keep track of all your customers. You can add, there's this download button. Allow market to access your contacts. Well, I'm not going to have all my contacts show up on this video. So right now I'm, I'm going to hit deny on that one because I don't want them want everybody calling calling all my customers another good one is this one in the upper right hand corner called the route planner this route planner is really neat for uh, just planning out your day if you've got multiple stops there's another cool easter egg in here that i wanted to show you see on your calendar here now in the upper bar there you see something that looks like it would be weather and you click on that weather icon there it's a the third one over you get your local weather that is that's pretty cool i've got one coming up where i've got to replace a a post a rotten post that supports a covered patio and well it's supposed to rain for the next four days well i don't want to do that type type of work in the rain so i may reschedule that i was going to do him 
Uh, on, let's see here, what day was I going to do that? Wednesday was kind of the plan. It might clear up by Wednesday. Now we're going to go to this bottom right where it says more. There's three dots It says more. Oh, while we're looking towards the bottom of the screen, there's this thing called support. That's one thing that I've noticed with this app is that it has unbelievable customer support. I can't believe how readily available they are to, to go through things if you get stuck. If you have employees, you can keep track of your employees. You can run a full business off this app. But for this video, I'm going to keep it simple and just go through some of the key points that someone new to the self-employed home services business is going to use. And that would be cost estimator. Cost estimator. It's on the left side there, second one up from the bottom. Cost estimator. We're going to go for an installation, and it immediately takes you to the HomeWise uh, website. And I've shown this in the past. I don't want to spend too much time on this. There's a whole video dedicated on how to use this section of the phone app to do what I call market research. We just had uh, tax season and it's finally over. And a lot of guys in this business don't really keep track of the income, what money their business is making. And they find out at the end of the year. In the upper left hand corner here, you'll see what's called dashboard. You click that. And this gives you an idea, a window into how your business is doing. And at any time of the day, usually uh, it's when I'm trying to fall asleep at night, I'll be going through this and just tracking the performance of the, the business. There's a lot of different graphs and charts. Now for you guys who have employees or helpers, you can also get them to have this app on their phone and you can clock in and out. Just hit clock in and the timer's already started. Click clock out at the end of the day. You can enter some notes. I was on the clock. Oh, it's running 10 seconds. So there we go. We, we were on the clock for 10 seconds today. Now, if you click on employees, you'll see a list of your employees come up. Now we're back on the main screen here. And the second one down from the left is called expenses. I'm going to click on that one. Now you'll see recorder, record an expense or record mileage. Let's just go record an expense. The date's already pre-populated for us. And we can, oh, let's see here. What are we going to call this? We're just going to add another one. We're going to type in wire nuts. And a description if you need it. I keep things simple. We go wire nuts uh, vendor. We could do uh, add a new vendor and choose say Home Depot. Uh, the, the amount you'll see the the red asterisks. Those are the things that you really need for everything to work. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna they cost us two hundred dollars. Uh, no, don't worry about the taxes. This customer, we click it. There's Joe Blow. Joe Blow is already there. Expense is billable. Sure, make it billable. Click the check mark. At the bottom here, you'll see something that says convert to invoice. You can click that, hit OK. There we go. Now, this thing is so automated. Now we can just send this off uh, by clicking send. You see this thing that says marketing. I haven't messed too much with that because, well, I, I have too much work as it is. This could be. Uh, just keeping up with your customers, letting all your current customers know that maybe you had a cancellation and you're, you're free if anybody's got anything that they need done. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to put that out there to answer some questions. I wanted to show you what the app actually looks like instead of me just holding my phone up to the screen so you get an idea of what you, what you can expect and what you can accomplish by using this phone app. I know a lot of guys have already downloaded the app and have used it. What do you think of it? Leave a comment below. I wanna know.